DFD's thoughts. Should you get a SkyQ 2 terabyte box to watch UHD on instead of the 1 terabyte box? Well, it's my opinion. Years ago, people had Sky. Well, most people did. We didn't, but most people did on terrestrial. And then along came digital with HD. And now you've got Ultra HD. Should you get a SkyQ uh, Ultra HD box, 2 terabyte box, with the microphone so you can use your voice to search for things like I don't know, David Jason, uh, Only Fools and Horses or whatever, or any kind of thing that you're into, like 80s, stuff like that. Should you buy it? Well, to be honest with my experience, no. Why? I'll tell you for reasons. One, the installation cost. You've got to pay £65 for the installation of a 2 terabyte box. Now, they say you're paying that for the installation, but after loads of conversations with Sky, you're not actually paying £65 for the installation of the box because it's exactly the same uh, satellite dish and the same cables as well. So what am I paying the £65 for? So what exactly are you paying the £65 for you're asking? Yeah? Yes. The box basically. You're paying for the box even though you don't actually get to keep the box. You're renting it. So my argument is why are you paying £65 installation, I mean, when I, I was offered the one terabyte box for free, but I thought, no, my wife wanted this particular remote control with the voice facility thing, which, to be honest, is useful in some respects that you can skip uh, five minutes or so, uh, which is all right. But on the whole, it, it sort of works, but it's not doesn't warrant paying £65 for. Ah, but you get UHD, you're thinking. Getting UHD though, aren't I? Not necessarily. Okay, let me put it out, put it this way to you, right? You pay for the normal TV programs, which is Sky Entertainment at ten pound, Sky HD five pound, Sky Q Multi Screen Pack twelve pound, and Sky Cinema at ten pound HD, which is five pounds a month. And you think brilliant? No. Because that is not giving you UHD. That's just giving you normal HD. So, you've got to have Sky Multiroom. Okay? You've got to have Sky Multiroom because that's £12 a month. And in there was, on the website, it says that because there's not enough UHD stuff available, you have to have uh, Sky Multiroom because it sort of incorporates the cost of the UHD, which is only £2. The Sky Multiroom before was only £10. So now they're charging £12 for Sky Multiroom just so you can have the Ultra HD content. And you think, oh, okay. Because when I was sold, I was sold, told that there was quite a few bits of con UHD content uh, on yeah, TV. TV. There's lots of UHD content. Hmm. But there isn't. There's not a lot on normal channels, if anything, at the moment. They, we've been told on the nature programmes there's maybe one or two. But I've not found anything on, yet on it. And I did download some things before. But... There were like three three series or whatever they were, and one was skateboarding thing, which is okay if you like that sort of thing, no problem. Some other, they were like a comedy, which wasn't very good, and there was something else as well. Now, you know, for me, that doesn't warrant paying all that money extra. Um, me neither. Plus, the other thing is, in order to watch anything else in UHD, like movies or sports, you have to have those packages as well. Even though I told them this when I was on the phone that I don't watch movies or sports. So not only um, do you have you have to pay the TV package, which is standard, you have to have the HD package as well. So that's number one. Number two, you've got to have the, the multi-room box. And three, you've got to have either Sky Movies, which is normally, I think, introductory offer is about £10 a month. Or the other thing is it's £15 a month, I believe, for sports. That's if you take it out at the same time. Um and again, I mean, yeah, they'll say as well. Record more though, can't you? On two terabyte box to the one terabyte that you can record. You can record five different things as well, whereas this one terabyte box only records two or three. But is there actually any point? Because there's nothing really worth watching anyway. Because often it's just, you know, it's repeated stuff anyway. Don't forget that there's some stuff you can download on demand as well. Ultimately. It's not really worth it. I mean, I'm at the minute because of discounts and stuff. I'm paying fifty-five pounds a month for, which includes like the the broadband, um, the telephone, and the the TV, um, which you think's not bad. But then, like I said, I'm not getting movies. I'm not getting sports. 
uh, the U UHD content. I mean, even at the moment, that like with the, the World Cup that's going on. Which watching that on then? Because that's not on Ultra HD, is it? On uh, Sky. Um, I'm watching that through the BBC R player when it's on BBC because BBC are actually showing it in Ultra HD on the BBC R player, whereas Sky, you can't even do that. So uh, To watch it on the BBC R player, it's actually an app built into the TV as well. So. By the way, if I think I'm not looking at it, I'm looking at the screen to what I'm doing because my camera is there. So I'm looking there, like that, that's the camera. Because that is where I can see on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope, hope you found it useful. Um, but yeah, you'd quite like, you know, if you do watch movies and you're quite prepared to do that, then yeah, it might be all right. But another word of warning with mine, uh, I've had it for two months. I've had four visits by three different engineers. One visit wasn't even booked because I was having that many problems um, and the lady was, she lied to me by saying various things, which I'm not going to go to on here. Um, plus, not only that... Um, You've only had one box though, haven't you? Hmm? I've had three boxes. This is my third box. And earlier on, it started making a wee loud whirring noise as though the fan had kicked in or something, or it was overheated or something. And the TV screen uh, image went off and it just says uh, resolution not supported which I thought was a bit strange and I've never had that before. So I ended up having another reboot of the box. This box that I've got now has been rebooted about four times already and it, just, they just not, it doesn't seem to me to be reliable. Okay, some people have had no problems, but me personally, no, nah, I don't think it's worth the money at all. As always, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video and it's useful for you, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I'm going to try and do some more videos like this and hopefully do weekly updates and things if you like it. Thank you.